my lord honorable mr justice raghavend singh chauhan the chief justice high court of uttarakhand honorable mr justice manoj kumar tiwari senior judge high court of uttarakhand honorable mr justice sarath kumar sharma honorable mr justice narayan singh dhanek honorable mr justice ramesh chand khulve honorable mr justice alok kumar verma the honorable judges of high court of uttarakhand Sri S N Babulkar, the learned Advocate General, State of Uttarakhand, all the Right Honourable Chief Justices and Honourable Judges of High Court of various states, gracing this ceremony through live streaming, the respected Registrar General and other Registrars of the Court, the Member Secretary Salsa, the learned Chief Standing Counsel, State of Uttarakhand, the learned President, the learned Secretary. and other members of the high court bar association the district information officer nanital ladies and gentlemen from the press and all other respected dignitaries physically present and as well as virtually in this program with us my respectful and humble greetings and a warm welcome to all the honorable dignitaries may i be permitted to begin with a small but unusual prayer may god bless us with tears to shed at least one for those who suffer in pain deprivation insult poverty whatever the disadvantage and reach out our hands to them may god bless us with just enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in the world so that we can do what others claim cannot be done to bring justice and kindness to our children women and men who have been wronged amen Good morning once again I am Ambika Pant the Registrar Computer High Court of Uttarakhand Today I have been granted the privilege of briefing about the flag off and commissioning ceremony of a noble as well as a noble scheme of mobile court units which will operate through vehicles equipped with modern day internet and video conferencing facilities Access to justice and collaterally equal access to justice is the cornerstone of a sound justice delivery system It is not merely a jurisprudential notion; it is a celebrated fundamental right under the Constitution of India. Article 21 of Constitution of India ensures protection of life and personal liberty of a person. In Anita Kushwa v. Pusab Sadan, decided by the Honorable Supreme Court in the year 2016, it was held that access to justice is a part and parcel of right to life under Article 21 of the Constitution. and one of the essence of access to justice is that an effective adjudicatory mechanism provided by the state is reasonably accessible in terms of distance thus we would be all failing in our endeavors to secure equal access to justice if we cannot improve access to the court of those people living in far off and flung areas of the state and those who face disability or disadvantage in one form or the another The state of Uttarakhand due to its typical topography faces an acute problem of physical and internet connectivity the remoteness of the habitats and virtual absence of transport facilities in the remote and tough landscapes of the state pose a huge challenge for the litigants or the people affected by court proceedings in particular the women and children and the disabled who are unable to attend the court proceeding without facing excruciating hardships the worst sufferers are women and the children particularly either as witnesses or as victims further a lot of precious time is wasted in recording the evidence of the doctors and policemen or the investigation officers who are transferred frequently from one place to another or they are prevented from coming to the court on one call because of their compelling public duties to address such scenarios The High Court of Uttarakhand has come up with an innovative arrangement of recording evidences through the mobile court units. The objective and purpose behind the mobile court units is to fortify the right of life enshrined under the Constitution of India, particularly of such people who are disadvantaged in more than one way. The focus in the preliminary stages of this scheme would be on women and children who are either the victim or witness in the cases. The first stage would also cover the doctors and the investigation officers whose evidence cannot be secured without unreasonable delay to the trials and hardships to the public in general i will now request all 
to kindly join us for a short virtual tour showcasing the mobile court units, the technology and the facilities deployed therein, and of course the manner in which the proceedings will be held through these units. Can we have please a virtual tour? मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट उत्तराखंड उच्च न्यायालय द्वारा की गई एक ऐसी पहल है जिसके द्वारा किसी ऐसे व्यक्ति अथवा गवाह को जिसकी सुरक्षा को खतरा हो या जिसका किसी असाधारण परिस्थिति की वजह से अदालत में उपस्थित होना संभव ना हो कि गवाही अथवा परीक्षण अथवा उपस्थिति मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट के द्वारा सुनिश्चित की जा सकती है मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट में व्यक्ति अथवा गवाह के प्रवेश हेतु दो द्वार दिए गए हैं साथ ही शारीरिक रूप से अक्षम व्यक्तियों के लिए विशेष व्यवस्था की गई है मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट को इस तरह विकसित किया गया है कि वाहन चालक तकनीकी कर्मचारी न्यायिक कर्मचारी गवाह अथवा व्यक्ति के लिए पर्याप्त जगह उपलब्ध होगी मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट में सीसीटीवी कैमरा लैपटॉप प्रिंटर एल टीवी वेब कैमरा इन्वर्टर इत्यादि सभी आवश्यक उपकरण लगाए गए हैं मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट में प्रति नियुक्त न्यायालय समन्वयक गवाह अथवा संबंधित व्यक्ति की पहचान सुनिश्चित करने के पश्चात मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट को संबंधित न्यायालय से वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग के माध्यम से जोड़ेगा गवाही अथवा कार्यवाही के पश्चात की प्रक्रिया प्रभावी एस अर्थात मानक प्रचलन प्रक्रिया के अधीन रहते हुए की जाएगी संबंधित न्यायालय गवाही अथवा सुनवाई की कार्यवाही इस संबंध में प्रचलित विधि तथा नियमों का अनुपालन सुनिश्चित करते हुए संपादित करेगा मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट की सुविधा न्यायालय अथवा पुलिस के सम्मन वाहक निष्पादन करता पी संबंधित कोर्ट की वेबसाइट ईमेल आदि के माध्यम से उचित कारण बताकर उपयोग की जा सकती है मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट उत्तराखंड उच्च न्यायालय द्वारा की गई एक ऐसी पहल है जिसके द्वारा किसी ऐसे व्यक्ति अथवा गवाह को जिसकी सुरक्षा को खतरा हो या जिसका किसी असाधारण परिस्थिति की वजह से अदालत में उपस्थित होना संभव ना हो कि गवाही अथवा परीक्षण अथवा उपस्थिति मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट के द्वारा सुनिश्चित की जा सकती है मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट में व्यक्ति अथवा गवाह के प्रवेश हेतु दो द्वार दिए गए हैं साथ ही शारीरिक रूप से अक्षम व्यक्तियों के लिए विशेष व्यवस्था की गई है मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट को इस तरह विकसित किया गया है सो दैट वॉज ए ब्रीफ टूर ऑफ द मोबाइल कोर्ट यूनिट्स वी सर्टनली होप दैट विद दिस यूनिक फैसिलिटी वी विल बी एबल टू रीच आर हैंड्स टू वन हु नीड्स दैट मेक अ डिफरेंस इन समबडीज लाइफ एंड डू justice and kindness to our children women and men in distress today on the 74th anniversary of our independence day five such mobile court units are being flagged off and commissioned by the honorable chief justice and honorable judges of high court of uttarakhand to the hilly districts of chamoli champavat pithoragarh tehri and uttarkashi we will now be moving to the flag off spot before returning back to this hall for closing of this commissioning ceremony i will now request the honorable chief justice and honorable judges as well as other dignitaries to kindly proceed to the flag of spot <laughs> 